Gentlemen, 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 welcome back to the greatest show on the earth, Interview with the Man, episode 109. Good Lord Almighty, I can't believe we're already at 100 plus episodes. It feels like it was just the other day that we had this whole party started, and uh, yet here we are. And what a time it is to be alive in the earth today. A lot of interesting stuff has been happening, but let's just jump right into the most important announcement of the day. For all you gentlemen in Body Language Mastery, I've got an amazing guest for you today. Ed Lattimore is joining us in the Body Language Mastery. Um, as you guys know, he's a former heavyweight boxer. He has his Bachelor's of Arts in Physics, best-selling author, speaker, and all-around nice guy. This is him here. He, he's, uh, he's very good at digital marketing. Uh, he's an entrepreneur. He used to be living in the projects and also... Um, an alcoholic, and he overcome those things, and he's really a good role model for a lot of men who do not have a role model in these days today. Ed Lattimore will be joining us today at approximately 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's about when the, the webinars are going to get going, and um, yeah, it's, it's really going to be a good webinar today. Um, for, yeah, so for all you guys, yesterday's episode was quite the hit, it seems. Um, I cannot even keep up with all the positive feedback. You know what's crazy? And I don't even know if he's watching right now, but Gone Doc himself was watching my channel yesterday, um, which is amazing. So Gone Doc, buddy, if you're watching now, thank you so much for your support, Habibi. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for having me on the show. You are a young man with a lot of great potential at only 22, running such a big and popular show. By the time you're 30, you're going to be fucking set. Set like Tibet, baby. You're going to be printing cash. So, just awesome. A lot of positive feedback from Rolo. Um, he really enjoyed it. Uh, we had LFA in here as well. He is in the men's improvement community. Um, he's more on the MGTOW side, but I, I honestly think that I can give him a little coaching and set him straight because he is definitely a hot dude. He's living a hot dude life. Um, so that's the most important thing that I had to say right there. It's for you guys, Body Language Mastery, quarter one and quarter two, um, you will be able to get in and have the one-on-one -on -one consultations with Ed today in our private webinar it's going to be great um i've been friends with that ed digitally for a while now let's fire up the phone lines welcome to blog talk radio please enter your host pin when finished press the pound key to start your show now, press 1 to hear important... Your show is scheduled to start in 11 seconds. All right, boys. The phone lines are open. If you got any questions... Your show will go live in... Oh! Seconds. 4, 3, Dean. 2, 1. Dean, you're a real one, my dude. Love Talk Radio. Thank you for coming through and say what's up, man. I appreciate you, my bro. Um, guys, check out Dean's So Cool. He's the only other guy on that panel with razor sharp pimp, like pimping game. Um, Dean, call in if you want to say what's up, man. Phone number's on the line. 657-383-1318. Come say what's up. Give yourself a shout out. You're mad cool. I always appreciate the homies who reach out to me and say what's up and like keep it real, you know, because there's a lot of bullshit internet personalities versus realness and uh, appreciate you for keeping it real. So call in and say what's up if you want to. Um, so 
Yeah, things are things are, are uh, shaping up really well. So um, Jacob in the chat says, where can I find the webinar recordings for later viewing? So what I'm going to do, so all you guys that are Body Language Mastery quarter one and quarter two enrollment, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to uh, upload these webinars to a login-based site. So if you have access to Body Language Mastery quarter one or quarter two, you can have access to these webinars. It's literally going to be like a minimum 30 hours of uh, information. And um, really, you know, it's just going to be uh, – I mean the, these things have been a clinic. We've had – so far we've had Rolo Tomasi come through. We've had Rich Cooper come through. We've had Donovan Sharp come through twice. We've had Ryan Stone come through. We had had Black Label Logic come through, and then um, Ed Lattimore is coming through today. I think he's going to enjoy the format. He's going to want to come back again. So you know, let me finish this run real quick. I got you, T Dean. You call in whenever, my bro. Um, but yeah. Secondly, let me see if I can do this from here. Okay. So secondly, um, I've decided the dates for Body Language Mastery um, Quarter 3 registration. It's only five dates. It's going to be September 27th, September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, and October 1st. Um, after these dates, it will be closed until quarter four, and the prices will go up to five ninety seven. Currently, quarter three, it's going to be four ninety seven, and that gets access to the men's only Facebook group, the complete breakdown of female body language, and then access to the webinars with me, which are seriously some of the most valuable things. Not only for you guys, because you guys are super important, but really for me too. Just connecting with you guys and. Seeing all the men from different walks of life, seeing a lot of us, like I call them shadow watchers. A lot of guys, they watch in the shadows. They never comment. They never, um, you know, make a login or whatever. They never participate. But for all you shadow watchers out there, I also advise you to get in and join because it could be a lot of value. Um, you know, met some great guys this quarter. Not even trying to fucking gas anybody up, but like, you know. Tommy Bahama, man, I fucking love you. My heart goes out to you. Um, ben, both Bens, Ben V and Ben R, you guys are awesome. Um, Jared, my man. Jared, you're going to be a super fucking stud in the future, man. You already are a stud, but you. Um, who else are, who are some of the people I like in this one? Um, Jesse, of course. <laughs> Cannot go without mentioning Jesse. Um. It was uh, it's just seriously, seriously such a great community of guys coming through, and um, I really am just so happy to have all you guys on the webinars. Also, yeah, like it's coming to me now. Randy, fucking Adam C, the animal, um, <laughs> you know, so many high quality men on there, guys. And honestly, I'm a little burned out now from doing all this, uh, from all these streaming. So yesterday I did the two hour show of Rolo, and right after that. I went on Gone Doc show, my time, 1 a.m. Tokyo time to about 6 a.m. And then I went to bed this morning around like 8 a.m. And I woke up and I uh, woke up like 6.30 p.m. And I'm still exhausted. So I think I'm going to do the webinars alone tonight. I'm going to do webinars right after the show. And honestly, I might go back to bed. I'm not sure. I don't know if Doc, uh, Doc's going to have me on the show. I don't, I don't know if he's streaming today. I might pop through. I might pop on and, and like kind of come through and say what's up. But um, I mean, I am enjoying doing the shows, but uh, you know, I feel like I need to recharge a little bit. So let me go through and say what's up to the chat. Peter, what's up, my man? Eric, what's up? Muhammad, the fucking savage, what's up? Uh, Christopher Wilson, broadcasting live from under a pile of women in the Philippines. What's up, baby? Spencer, what's up? Early morning shitcoin trading. Let's get this bread, my man. You know it. What's Bitcoin dominance at right now? Is it leaking out? It was at 66 the other day. This is just discount time. Come December, I'm going to be printing fucking money, baby. Printing money with that digital crypto. Uh, Tony S., what's up? They kick you off Don Gok twice uh, yesterday. Yeah, I think so. 
I kicked off once for, for flashing these huge old anime titties. <laughs> once for anime titties. And and I guess Doc, Doc didn't realize. I don't know. Maybe I think he did realize, but I guess I can't say it because it comes off as racist. But, you know, I said that because I've been to Thailand. And sometimes the meat that you're eating on the side of the road, you think it's chicken, you think it's steak or whatever, but it's actually dog. Um, there is a dog meat trade, uh, on like a meat trading market of dog meat in Thailand and Vietnam and Korea. And sometimes the vendors on the side of the road, they use uh, dog meat. They tell you it's chicken, they tell you it's beef or whatever, but it's actually dog. And then um, I said that, and I guess he, that was interpreted as... Uh, racist or something so he had well and he's got to protect his stream from getting uh because amazon is really strict with their tos which is terms of service and so you know he had to he had to do what he had to do so i respect him as a businessman you know not everybody can drink from the cup of hot dude not everybody can drink the 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 hot dude life cup that runneth over so amazon they can't handle it twitch they can't handle it so he was just protecting his stream so He's just a businessman. I respect him as an entrepreneur, you know, and he got to do what he got to do. And I think it's, I think honestly, I think it's good. I think it's good TV when they throw me off the, the chat. I got a lot of haters in the chat, but I got a lot of lovers too. So, but yesterday I did get kicked off twice. And one time he apologized. He's like, hey man, I'm sorry. Um, Peter says, what's the project? Projects in the United States is like where, the extremely poor people live it's governmental housing and it's usually for those people who are just like are just in bad financial shape and so you know they just have to live in these like as they call projects so that's just part of the game there and he, he escaped from it which is good christian soda what's up baby dean what's up again um prussia kid what's up says funny no one wants to be a black hitler i don't know what that means uh Ryan Witt, what up? Mahaba, what up? Lestat, what's up? You seem new here. Red Pill Mamba, what's up? Cellulite and Zits, a love story. Your username cracks me up, bro. You crushed yesterday. Was great to hear Rolo breaking it all down. Yeah, Rolo fucking loved it too, man. He was hitting me up in the DMs after. He was like, that was fucking content, content, content. It was so good. Um, is there any way to watch the Twitch stream from yesterday? I wasn't able to catch it live. It might be on Gondok's uh, Twitch channel. Let me see. Yesterday was not as lit as as I would like that have been to have been. But let me see. Nope, he didn't put it on as a vod. But if you want to go see the other ones, um, I'll plug Doc's channel here. Here he is, right here. Go to twitch.tv forward slash gondoc, G-O-N-E-D-O-C, right here. And you click on video right here. And I was on this one. I was on this one. And these were the only two that he saved as, as like vi videos of the day. You typically have to catch it live. Twitch is more based off like a, a live format. Let me see if there's any clips. <clears throat> Dean's so cool. MLD, I guess. Oh, yeah. That's right. I got banned for stating biological fact. Uh, yeah, these are all a bunch of good clips. Chicka boom. I don't know what that one is. But, yeah, if you want to go check, you can just see. <laughs> Here's when I said makeup is lying and the girls got so triggered. It was hilarious. Oh, Lordy. What a time to be alive. Yeah, go check out that channel. It's good. It's entertainment. It's seriously 2019 entertainment, all new, all, all good stuff. Um, let me go continue with the chat here. Yeah, today's a little bit of a housekeeping episode, so I'm gonna make some more announcements. I got some more announcements, um, and so we'll do some surveys from you guys as well. Is there any way to watch the Twitch? Oh yeah, John, it's not fair. You're a pimp. I earned it though. Come on now, I earned it. Patrick, what's up? Ivor, what up, baby? Yo, John, are you allowed back on the doc show after yesterday? Yeah, I am. I was back on at the end of the night. He, he said, uh, he was like, you know, my bad. 
I got a little angry. And then sometimes he needs to make room for other other people to come through. Like I don't want to hog up all the space because I don't have that much Twitch clout. So it's good for him to like bring in other people who have a lot of Twitch clout and help grow his stream, give him subscribers and stuff. So you no, know, it's always good. It's no problem. Um, Jacob Odom says, always seek to learn, change, grow, adapt, and evolve. Absolutely. The moment you stop doing that is the moment you start dying. Um, Chris Soda says, the webinars are well are worth every penny, and the Facebook group is awesome. Dude, the Facebook group is fucking lit. You know the Facebook's lit when guys are getting banned from Facebook within the fucking Facebook group. Rest in peace, Casey. I hope you come back strong. <laughs> Casey's another killer. I'm glad he's in the webinars. John, with great pimp, with great pimping comes great responsibility. Absolutely. What's up, Elijah? What's up, Roberto? He says, get that rest. Thank you. Roberto, let me know how that interview went, bro. Um, you're still living rent-free in that chick's brain, bro. You don't even know, man. All right, let me, let me show you guys what the deal is. I showed the boys in the Body Language Mastery group first and foremost. Let me show you boys next. Where did that? Where did that? Where did that? Damn, you guys are posting some sexy ass girls from Tinder in, in the private Facebook group. Let me show you this. Actually, hold on. That's going to incriminate some people. Let me just pull up my email. Pull up the email. The email. What? What? The email. Where at? Oh, motherfucker. Where is that? Oh, here we go. Boom, baby. Look who it is. This is the girl <laughs> that we were talking about on yesterday's show. And look who's following me on Twitch now. Mm-hmm. 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 Rent free in her mind. I like it. Good choice. Good choice, Sue. Uh, one of the boys in the Body Language Master Group hit me up. He's like, I swear to God, I bet you that chick already looked up flights to Tokyo. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but if she did, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked. That's fucking hilarious. Hot dog 2.0. <laughs> the guys in Gondok be white knighting hard. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, on. What's up, bro? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're enjoying the uh, the Facebook group. Ash Kneecap says, John, that show was is so boring without you there. Once you leave, it's nothing but beta boys and e girls. Yeah, basically. Uh, Edgar, what's up, man? How can you stand to argue with these bimbos? It's fun. I love crushing their little delusional worlds. Red Crusader, what's up? You're new. Nova Roma says, The conquistadors marched through a summer heat to conquer con a continent. Men today don't even approach women in an air-conditioned room. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't get triggered. Did you look at those videos I sent you about the separated couple playing... Truth or dare drink? Poor guy got fucked over by a dyke. No, I didn't. Um, dude, Ivor, listen. All you guys, let me make... Okay, here's another announcement. So, um, no consultations. No consultations until August 1st. I, I literally cannot handle it. Like, dude, I lost two pounds in the last two days just from just from sleeping and streaming. That's how you know I'll... I'll like, I think my brain is sucking up all the calories. Um, but I don't have, um, time, dude, my Skype is blown up, my Twitter is blown up, my Instagram is blown up, I cannot even fucking keep up with this shit, um, so I'm just, like, playing catch up right now, but literally, my top priority is the Body Language Mastery guys, because they're my paid students, and, um, you know, you gotta pay to play, I told you guys from quarter two, the beginning, some of you guys thought I was full of shit, like, I told you I'm gonna get busy, and my shit's gonna blow up, and it's happening right now. So, you know, the guys who showed me their serious business, um, I'm handling them first. That being said, um, I'm going to be um, catching up on August 1st with all the rest of the consultations. 
So that's going to be good. Ah, Ash Kneecaps, you're branded. Dude, <laughs> you liked it when I held up that sign yesterday that said, Hose Mad, right? <laughs> Yo, John, I found Alabama. She posted some pretty spicy pics of there. Her body count is way higher than four. Yo, link me for science, G. Link me for science. Uh, trash show, you were the only good thing. Thank you, Ponergeist. She will never eat orange the same way again. <laughs> She's probably watching right now. Maybe. It's Josh, John. Remember, you had me change my name. Oh, dude. Red Crusader. Way better than Scruffy Turd, dude. Red Crusader is fucking badass, man. I think of like a fucking old school um, knight, you know? Not a white knight. What are those knights called Cru from the Crusades? Um, knights of Templar, man. That's badass. That's a cool name. Okay, so another thing is this, guys. So, um, write it down. Get something to write this down. All of you guys, August 25th through September 5th, I will be in Orlando, Florida. Okay? Uh, August 25th to Orlando. Oh, Jesus Christ. August 25th till September 5th, I will be in Orlando, Florida. Okay? So, I am thinking to do a meetup on the 31st, which is a Saturday. 31st, just a Saturday. If you are interested in meeting me and have like go maybe dinner or some drinks or whatever on uh, August 31st, let me know. I'll be in Orlando, Florida. I know Jesse mentioned he would be interested. Myron is probably going to come up. If you guys know Myron, Myron's a fucking savage. Um, Myron was interested coming up. And um, I know a couple of you in Orlando. Pedro, you're in Orlando. You know, you can come easily. I think we would go somewhere quiet to, like, talk and just kind of get to know each other and then go drink. I know a really good uh, craft cocktail bar downtown. And... Um, Really great stuff. But yeah, August 31st is what I'm uh, proposing. If you guys have any counters, counter offers, let me know. Because the rest of those days are like work days. I think that's the only like, yeah, it's the only weekend I'm going to be there. I get there on 25th. Oh, I could technically do it on Sunday when I arrive, but I'll be dead. Yeah, I think the 31st is good. Because I can do family, family, family. 29th, I'm going to be going to Star Wars. Or Friday, I'll be going to Star Wars. One of these two days. And then 31st. And then I know Sunday I'm going to go to the beach. Maybe Saturday morning as well. I'm having a good old time. But yeah, August 25th to September 5th, I will be going to Orlando, Florida. So that's another announcement for you guys that want to meet me. Okay, fine. You convinced me. Come through, Googs. Bring that credit card. <laughs> I'm going to run up a fucking bill. And we got to get somebody responsible to bail us out. I hope you got some contacts in the CIA or something. <laughs> um, Irish Bateman, what's up, man? Count Yoli, what's up? Yeah, Count Yoli likes the name too. Deuce Volt. <laughs> no Scruffy Turd, Muhammad. No Scruffy Turd. Scruffy Turd is banned. Bro, I'll definitely come to Orlando. I need a vacation. Really? You guys would come on the 31st of August? Shit, you guys make me feel loved. Yeah, man. If you guys want to come through, I'll organize it. I'm gonna put it on the. I'm gonna send out an email to the whole email list. I'm gonna put it on the Body Language Mastery group, and then for you guys in Body Language Mastery for the webinars, we'll talk about it tonight. But yeah, if you guys want to meet me, I ain't no fucking celebrity. I'm just a dude living life at its hottest. And um, <laughs> if you guys want to come through, by all means, man, I got you. No worries at all. Orange Check will be there. I don't know who that is. And guys, the phone lines are open. Another thing is this. So, let's talk a little bit here, okay? What is some content that you guys want to see from me? I want to turn I want to turn the conversation, you know, over to you guys. What is some content that you guys want to see? Do you want to see more dating content? Do you want to see more um you know, do you want to see more exercise and fitness content? I'm in the process of making um, an exercise and fitness and weight loss and cooking program all in one. 
Um, it'll literally be the complete guide to losing weight and building muscle. Um, you can completely change your body in six months, depending on how much um, change you want and how much body fat you have on yourself. But in six months, half a year, listen, the time's going to pass anyways. So definitely can help you with that. Um, it's going to be 100% free too. The course is 100% free, right? So that will be something that is um, coming out as well. But let me know in the chat. Call in. Phone, the phone line is open, 657-383-1318. Um, call in and let me know. Nice change, John. 100 grams? Yep. Is 100 grams. How'd you know? How did you know it was 100 grams? Good eye, Jimmy. Very good eye. What a pimp. Expect nothing less from you, actually. Christopher Wilson says business and fitness content. Shearer says more Twitch content. Are you guys enjoying me on Twitch, really? Because I felt like, you know, to be honest with you guys, I felt like uh, maybe I didn't, I, I didn't want to feel like I was showing off. I really, the last thing I want to do is to turn into a guy who's on the internet like, hey, look how fucking awesome I am. Like, that's just not, not me. That's not what I want to do. But did you guys really like that, uh, that Twitch content? Dude, let me know. And I, I honestly, because I was like, I was wondering, like, am I being cringe? Um, I'm gonna take some notes here. I was worrying that I was being cringe to an extent. But you know, if you guys are finding it of value, then I will continue to do it. I've been thinking about building up the Twitch. One second, I'm just gonna grab a pen. All right, here we go. We're back. All right. Let's go. Oh, can't put that on the internet. That's dangerous. <laughs> Secrets out. I'm in my underwear. <laughs> I just saw myself on the feedback. <laughs> oh, well. Judge me. <laughs> I am fucking so stressed with all this shit lately. Not stressed, but, you know, just overwhelmed. Okay. All right, cool. So I got this filed up here. All right, I'm going to take some notes here. So we've got business and fitness content. Okay. Business. Fitness. Okay. More Twitch content. So I'm very surprised be honest like like i said I, and i heavily told the guys in the body language mastery webinars they're the first ones i showed they get all the guys in the body language mastery you get the they're the first to hear the news break they're the insiders they get all the fucking vip access and so i told them and i know i kind of thought it was a little bit of an echo chamber to be honest i was like well these guys just love me so they're just gonna say yes to anything but you know, they were like, dude, fucking, because I, I told them, I was like, we could review these Twitch clips in the webinars, or we can just continue, like, you know, doing the question and answer stuff or other stuff. And they're like, nah, fuck it, review this shit, this is gold. That's why I asked Rolo and made yesterday's episode, and then that fucking, you know, that blew up out of its out of its thing as well. Oh, it looks like we got a caller on the line. Hold on, let me take the caller. Hey, area code 405, you're on the air. Who's this? Hey, it's Elijah Cohen. Hey, Elijah, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, I was just calling in to say that um, I really love the Twitch stuff, and it's really useful. Um, oh. You get to see, like, you actually working. Right. That's what makes it, like, a little bit better than just the questions and, and answer stuff in mm -hmm. the uh, body language group and mm -hmm. in the show. Um, mm -hmm. It's just easier to get, like the experience without like it's easier to learn through your experiences than it is just to talk about what was happening when we can actually see it okay i'm gonna make a note of that man so you like seeing the in life of real experience yeah 
How's and how's everything going with you on your end? Uh, are you working with the truck license and all that stuff? Um, no, not really. It's 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 just a much, and I got I got a better position in the job that I'm currently at, mm -hmm. so I'm making more money. Mm -hmm. Um, so I probably won't be switching to that for at least at least a couple months after I visit my dad in October. Get on it, so, man. Don't waste any time. Um, yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Yes. And I got half of my... Uh, no. I also got half of my passport done. Good. Um, I'm just saving up some money so that I can take the picture and get it printed off and all that. Yeah, pictures are cheap. They're like 20 bucks, dude. You just go to um, like a CVS. And, do you have CVSs in Oklahoma? Where are you mm -hmm. at? Yeah, we got Walgreens, CVS, all that type. You go into Walgreens or CVS, you go to the little photo corner, and you say, "Hey, listen, I need a passport photo." The lady, they have like a special passport camera. They ask you to stand up against a white background. They take your picture, twenty bucks, and you're done. Literally, worst case scenario, thirty minutes. Absolute worst case scenario. Go do that today. Okay. All right. Cool. All yeah. right, Elijah, and I see you watching Charlie's show, man. Anyway. I like that. Good, good. Uh, I like you taking the action that I've told you to do. So good stuff. And I'll catch you on the webinars, all right? Yep. See you then. All right. Bye bye. It's our man Elijah calling in from Oklahoma. Hmm. Okay. Social media, Facebook skills for red pill men. Okay. Social media. And Facebook skills for red pill men. And Eric, what do you want to get with this? Money, muscles, women, what? What do you want to get from it? Let me know. Calioli says, sharpen up our game. Maybe we ought to have a Zoom roast. Who? Bring Goo I'll bring Googs and fucking Myron in for that. Sharpening up game. Okay. Sharpening up game. Okay. Your running game live in an environment on which you hardly have any con control is great. Twitch. Okay. Wow. T fucking had no idea Twitch would be this popular. Samara gifted me a 50G. Ooh, buddy. What a sweetie pie. That's, that's a little... uh. That's a little fucking, that's a little pricey. She loves you. How to talk and text to a woman with low value. Slut, I, I want to bang sometimes versus women with high value. Here's the red pill for you. You text them and treat them all the same. And then after you date them and have sex with them, you kind of find out who they are. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so how to text. Different types of women. And again, guys, phone lines are open. 657-383-1318. No call is too small. And the only stupid question is a question that you don't ask, okay? If you don't ask a question, you cannot tap into this fucking big old noggin here and pull out the data that you want. Okay, use me. I have 33 years of fucking making money, lifting weights. I've got so much information up here that I can give you 100% for free. But if you don't ask me, I don't know what you want. And I, I mean, I can't help you. You got to help me as well. And guys, go ahead. We have more than 50 people watching right now and only 22 likes. Please click that like button. It's literally just click and you're, and you're good to go. That's the, that's the quickest way to help me. Let me see if my little push button donation thing works. And uh, yep, if you click on that, see if you wanted to to make a donation as well. If you guys want, if you like what you're seeing here, I am gonna make a Patreon because it's just more fiscally responsible for you guys that want to support me instead of just coming in and just throwing money at me. You could just choose a tier. I think I'm gonna do like five, ten, fifteen. No, I think I'm gonna do five, ten, twenty five, fifty, hundred, and um. The 100 guys, and they'll have a, like a VIP webinar access to me once a month. Um, 
So I had a text. More alpha movies. I've got, dude, I got alpha movies for days. One of my big uh, hobbies is watching movies. I have seen over 500 movies from, you know, you know what movies have some fucking great value and great red pill lessons in them? Uh, Korean action dramas, man. They are fucking great. Are you still considering doing Tales from the Robe? I am. Um, it's just I don't wear the robe as much right now because it's very hot in Japan. I'm not even fucking wearing pants right now. It's so hot in Japan right now, dude. I walked. I had a dream last night that a huge earthquake hit Tokyo. And then after the earthquake, I just wanted Taco Bell. And I woke up today craving Taco Bell. So I took the train like 40 minutes to go to a Taco Bell. <laughs> and then I bought some Taco Bell. It was very, very, uh, very satisfying. So I hope that there's not a huge earthquake, though, because last night's earthquake dream was terrifying. Loving the Twitch stuff. The Twitch content was fantastic. Real live infields. You showing off provides valuable examples of game to the rest of us. Thank you, Red Pill Mamba. Maybe you want to help us individually get on there so we can sharpen up our game and have reviews. Hey, if you want to fucking do it, by all means. They don't teach that in college. No, they don't. Twitch content has been... Jesus, Twitch is just... Twitch is like has the most points so far right now. Confessions of a plate master. That's a good. I think that's a great title there, Zuzu. Confessions of a plate master. I'm assuming you just want me to come on and tell you some of my sexy sex tales and pickup tales, I guess. Fashion advice? Okay, cool. We can do that. We're doing a lot of fashion. Dude, we're rebuilding Jared's uh, wardrobe right now in Body Language Mastery. Um, the man is out there buying clothes. Uh, Jimmy says spirituality. Okay. That's for like the higher meaning stuff. Fashion advice. Okay. Just so you guys know, I'm not faking this. I really am writing every single thing down right here. Marketing would be a basic too. Struggling with that a bit. Oh, did we just get a donation from a super chat? Taco Bell. Ew. <laughs> Thank you, Atham. Thank you for the $2 on the super chat. Confessions of a Plate Master. I think that's a great episode. Uh, mindset advice, says Dan. Mindset. Okay. Mindset advice. Great. This is This is awesome feedback. Let me check the phone lines real quick. Okay, nobody on the phone lines. Yeah, guys, call in too if you want to talk or pick my brain real quick on what kind of content you want. 657-383-1318. Does anybody notice that I have the Legend of Zelda item music playing for the Super Chat? It's for a special someone out there who loves Zelda. You dominated on Twitch and were natural awesome. What's up, gentlemen? What's up, Charlie? I enjoyed the Twitch stuff. I get sensory overload at times with all the voices, but it's good. Yeah, my ears hurt, man. Uh, some of the uh, the DJ, uh, Dimitir, on our Body Language Master Group linked to me to some great headphones. I got to get those. These noise-canceling headphones actually make my ears and head and brain hurt. Peter guy, Peter guy says the show was horrible, but it was a good example of how to banter. <laughs> Erwin Francois, what's up? You remind me of Matt Helm. Now you're the real deal. Who's Matt Helm? I don't know. I got to check so, that. So, you have accepted the truth. Oh, we got a subscriber in the house. Thank you very much for subscribing. You have accepted the truth. Phone lines are still open. I got to update the the studio as well. I got to add some mixers. Got to optimize. Keep on making this show better and better and better for you guys. Social media rule number one, no night whiting. Here's social media 101 for you guys. And welcome, Casey. To, to joining the hot dude army. Fallen ranks. Get ready to take over. Um, number one rule for social media. Don't follow her. Don't comment on her photos. Don't like her photos. Just slide those DMs. Make your pitch. And that's it. Because if you start commenting and liking and all that stuff. You're just another fucking dude in her fucking thirst farm you know you're just another fool basically stop feeding her ego stop the validation stop all that shit 
and just make your pitch. Have a good profile set up if you're pitching on um, Instagram, and that's it. Uh, friends, sup, Goog, says Charlie. Talk about good drinks. Okay. Good drinks. I, I could teach you. I know a little bit about wine and whiskeys. Um, also, Japanese sake. It's pretty good. I could give some here. Here's the basic rule. If you fear her reaction, you lose her attraction. Yeah. Alpha celeb analysis. Ooh, that's good. Gene Simmons. If you don't know who Gene Simmons is, that guy is king of the alpha males. Holy shit. Is that guy so fucking alpha? I'd be afraid to live in Tokyo with Godzilla and Rodan running around. <laughs> I second the alpha reviews. Okay. Alpha movie reviews. I actually have a really good episode for an alpha movie review. I think I'm going to do it on Thursday, and it gives me a good reason to watch a good movie. And I'm going to take notes during the whole thing. Peter knows I do movie reviews. I fucking did a movie review for goddamn re- fucking Last Jedi trash. They better not fuck this next movie up. I swear to God. They better bring Luke Skywalker back from the dead or it's game over. What's going on? We're just doing a little question and answer. Audience survey right now, Flowmaster. So anything you want, any content you guys, for you guys just joining in, any content you want to see on the show, call in or ask me in the chat. Looks like we got a caller on the line here. Let me see who it is. 818, you're on the air. Who's this? Ernesto. Ernesto, what's up, my man? How you doing? Hey, good, good, Jonathan. Talk to me, baby. What's up? So I was I saw your Twitch stream. Okay. I saw your Twitch stream on Saturday, and I was just amazed how, um, you know, your cover, your conversation, and how you know how to like stand and what you say. Yeah. Like confidently, and you know, I, I wish I can do that. You know, be able to say like just whatever it is like mm-hmm. confidently and just conversations and just know how to, what to be able to say. Right. Without right. being nervous, I guess. Why do you think you're nervous? I think it's just my mindset. It's like I, sometimes I just really don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. Do you stay at home a lot? Or are you more introverted? Yeah. yeah. I'm in your webinar for the, for the first the first one. Why don't you join the second ones? I could. I could. It's just a schedule. Okay. Yeah, get in, bro. Such And listen, you have access to quarter three webinars and quarter four as well. So keep that in mind. And all of these are being filmed as well, so there's a lot of fucking information. So you'll have access to these with the logins. Mm-hmm. Um, but the biggest advice Sounds I can good. say is getting used, get used to talking to people. Just get used to talking to anybody. From any culture, any gender, excuse me, anybody, just get used to talking to them. Get mm-hmm. used to just, um, you know, knowing what universally people like, what universally people dislike. And, um, you know, that's what I would say is my advice for you. Yeah. I'm always watching you, so I really appreciate your content. I really do admire your thank- personality. You know, I, I really want to strive to be a person like you, you know. Thank you very much, Ernesto. That or means- maybe be, be my own person. Yes. Don't be like me. Be better. You mm-hmm. can do a lot better than I did. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 29. Good. Good time. 29 is a good time to be alive. I made a lot of money when I was 29. Fucked a lot of hotties, too. So it's a good time to turn it all around, man. Uh, pop into those webinars, dude. I got you. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome, Ernesto. Have a good day. Keep your head up. You too. Thank you. All right. 828, you're on the air. Who's this? What up, Jonathan? It's Chris. Yo, Christopher Wilson, my G. What Hello? up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing great, bro. How you doing today? Good. I'm a little tired, but tired from winning. <clears throat> tired from winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, staying up all night, <laughs> pimping on Twitch, man. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Actually, go. Uh, I wanted to mention something about that really quickly uh, before my question uh, uh, about about the Twitch show that I thought was super interesting, man. Um, so 
There's this girl. I think her name's Quincy. She was a cam girl, right? Yeah. Yeah, in my opinion, man, she's like easily the hottest one. Uh, For sure. I mean, she's she's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought it was super interesting. This guy came on. He was uh, living in Dublin. I guess I think originally he was from Croatia. Yes. And, uh, I mean, he was like fairly good looking. I didn't think he, he was anything super special, but she was like obviously super into him, right? Like mm-hmm. right away, she's asking him like all these questions and then she just jumps in and it's like, what's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> and <clears throat> what I thought was interesting was that you can tell like all over her body language, like she's super into him. But as soon as he started talking, he was so indecisive. Mm-hmm. He was so nervous. And then you could just see it, man, her body language changed and she's like uh, tapping on her wrist, like times a ticking, like, yep. you know, and uh, yeah, I thought that, w- I thought that was interesting, man. Like, um, he was already in and then he basically talked her out of yep. attraction. You know, that's what Googs was but saying. I, in some of the webinars, yeah, definitely- he was saying that like for a lot of you guys, you know, once you have it, once you can read the body language and you can know what the deal is, just don't fumble the football. And what he did, that guy, he's only been with, he said between 10 to 20 girls. So like I said, the amount of girls you sleep with is kind of like the level of player you are. So he's like probably let's just give him right in the middle. So he's only a level fifteen player. So you don't have a lot of skill and yeah. competency until like I would say twenty five. And like when you get to fifty, that's when you're like, okay, I'm pretty much not going to get burned by most girls. Um, and that's if you're actively studying this and and looking at it like a science and trying to make yourself better. But if you're just like randomly going out there, just fucking girls and not thinking about it, then you're not going to actually acquire skill. But if you're going this from like a skill acquiring position, then 25 to 50 right there, you're going to have really good understanding. I think you're like getting your way up towards 50, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm somewhere around 40 now that I've been here. Yeah, you had a, you had quite a learning experience the other day, so I think you're I think you're coming up slowly but surely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That uh, that was a serious serious learning experience, man. Yeah. I will never not vet a woman uh, ever again. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, just, just for everybody watching, make sure you vet women and don't come to the Philippines thinking that all these women are sweet and like, you know, they might seem like it at first, but yep. make sure you vet them and. Yep. Yeah, there's some there's some scammers here and there, there's some crazies here. But For I mean, sure. it's a it's a great fun place. The, the women are uh, are awesome, but just make sure, like, yeah, yeah, uh, definitely vet them. You definitely live that uh, hot dude life. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Appreciate it, bro. Spurging out it. over here. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, w- I was uh, <clears throat> I've been working on the artwork mm-hmm. a lot since our last consultations. I actually got like uh. I think like 20 more designs to upload, but, uh, I'm getting a little attention. Like people are checking them out and they're commenting and they're like liking them, but uh, I'm not really selling any. I've only sold like, like three. And, uh, I mean, it takes hours to make each one. So Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should like, uh, but I mean, I'm passionate about it. I I really, uh, believe in the designs, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I don't know if I need to like ditch this and try something else. How long you've been going at it? Try to print them and like uh, years now. Uh, what, do you, what are you several selling? Several years now, probably four years. Uh huh. What are you selling? Uh, I, I think uh, I think I sent you a link. I don't know. It was uh, it was a red bubble link. It's uh, graphic designs. So I, I I've been putting them on print on demand websites, mm-hmm. and uh, most of them are in like the same style, but. I'll like, like I tried quotes for a while. Those didn't really sell. Then I tried like more like artistic things. Um, those sold a little bit better. And lately I've been doing like, uh, like different characters, you know, mm-hmm. um, like science, science fiction type of characters. Mm-hmm. And, uh, those aren't really, really selling very well either, but like you can put them on like t-shirts and, you know, like duvet covers and phone cases, mm-hmm. you know, put them on a bunch of products but uh i don't know I, i'm thinking maybe i need to like print them and and test them out but you know the economy is not super good here so i don't know if, if you got to take gonna your talents to the internet buy the t-shirt 
you got to take your talents to the internet and you got to yeah. market and scale at an astronomical rate. Okay. There's enough money and enough okay. people on the world for you to get yours. Um, all you need to do is get on the internet and make sure you're marketing correctly. If you're marketing incorrectly, you're not going to reach your customer. If you don't reach your customer, you're not going to get to help them. And if you don't help them, they're not going to exchange their money for your help. So everything is down to expanding your marketing data capabilities. That's the big thing. Do you know how to use Facebook ads? Okay. Uh, I've never tried before. Okay. That's your homework. Go figure no. that out. I'll get on that. All right. All righty. I'll do that. All righty, buddy. Stay right, out of bro, trouble, I'm gonna, okay? I'm going to book. Uh, uh, I will. I promise. <laughs> Go ahead. You say something? <laughs> I'll do my best, man. Good, good, good. I'll do, good. My, I'll do my best. No, 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 I promise. I'll promise. I'll, I will vet each and every one. <laughs> good, 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 good. All righty. It'll be good. And, uh, yeah, if you want to book All another right, consultation, they start August 1st, so... Holler at your boy. Yes, I will definitely be doing that. Definitely will. All right. Take care. All right, Jonathan. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you, Chris. See you later. See you later, bro. It's our man, Christopher Wilson. I feel like this. I could feel the test. I could feel the testosterone. I could feel the testosterone on the line right now. I feel like this is Muhammad. Is this Muhammad? Muhammad, is that you? Hello? Hello? Oh, who's this? Hi, this is Tuzu for Live. How are you doing? Oh, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, man. You, you Did you take my advice from the other day, Zuzu for Life? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I start um, doing push-ups and uh, doing exercise and all that. You sound better um, already. Yeah, you already sound wanted... better. You sound yeah. like happier, not so fucking yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, much happier. Like, um, yeah, yeah, much happier actually. Wow, good. Um, like in terms of the topic that you um, discussed um, just then, mm-hmm. like um, I was wondering if you could do like, um, like the the topic I suggested, like uh, um, um, like a confession of a plate master, like mm-hmm. you. Yeah. I, I like I think there 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 are many like play uh plate beaners out there like mm-hmm. um so uh there's gonna be some setbacks and there's gonna be some um like like good things um come mm-hmm. along with it as well so if you can like uh exp- explain it to us and what what kind of problems you ran into and how you dealt with it and uh what are the good outcomes so um if we been to the same situation we know what to do um sort of um topics um like that i think that would be good okay yeah. just okay. in my perspective yeah if no you can, your perspective yeah. is valid if listen if you're asking me it means it matters so no i got you dude yeah. i could do that for you for sure <laughs> Not yeah, yeah, a yeah, problem. Yeah, at yeah, all. yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch? Yeah. Did you watch the yeah, show yeah, yesterday? I yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched. It. <laughs> I watched it. Yeah, yeah. I watched it with Zoro, <laughs> but it's so fucking cringy to watch it. Mm. Like, <laughs> it's too cringy for me to watch it. So I, I just, know. Like, like I probably watched the first the first twenty minutes. And then just like watch you guys in the same chatting room and add uh, too cring too cringy. Like and then uh. I just um <laughs> I just switched to uh some other channels. Yeah, just too cringy it's to okay. watch. It's not not, not, you, not though, for everybody. Like, like like the other guys. The the the, the surfer guys and all these just uh the, 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 the millennial chicks are just out of whack, you know. Oh, I can imagine, I know. Uh, just uh, just um blows my mind, yeah. Welcome to 2019. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I, I'm a practical guy. So I, um, I, I, I wish, like, I, I wish if you can provide some practical um, content, mm-hmm. um, not uh, like just some like uh, wishy washing, I wishy washy like craft. As I'm not saying you, you, I'm not saying you do, but uh, there are many like content providers. Like they they do these sort of things. Like once they got it, 
um, uh, amount of um, um, followers, and their content just become like shit. Um, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not a problem. That's why I did this yeah, show today. Good. So, um Go go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the show today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still um I'm watching here from uh from China. Thank you. Um from Guangdong, yeah. Thank um you. if you if you ever if you ever come to China mm -hmm. and uh um yeah, just give me a shout, yeah. Okay? I'll I will. Show you around. I'll show you all the good places. And, I definitely want to go. The, 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 the hot chicks and all that. I want to go right? so bad. Definitely. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the man, Zuzu. All right. So on, take care. Have Talk a good one. Later. Take care. Right, bye. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Wow. Awesome. Didn't mean to cut you off there, buddy. Wow. Guys, can you hear the change in his voice from the first time he called in to the second time? That's progress right there, man. Good stuff, Zuzu for life. This is fly funny, bro. I saw you like. <laughs> I think I know who he's talking. I'm not gonna say it, but I I saw him shit talking a certain content creator in the chat one time, and I was fucking like, I knew exactly who he was, and I was laughing my ass off. Awesome. Uh, Big Gook says, I think guys like the Twitch because it shows you running game, which so many guys are interested in seeing. I think anything that shows you running game would be just as popular. Okay, good shit. Good to know. Good shit. Conan the Barbarian all day, every day. Let's see. Don't do that, John. Don't give me hope. Search your feelings. Episode 9 is going to be trash. I know. Oh, I know. Fuck me, dude. I want it to be good so bad. Please bring back Luke Skywalker. Please, please, for the love of fucking God, bring him back. If not, it's going to crash. It's going to do terrible. They want that green car, bro. Fit them for good, Chris. It's funny. The only thing I hope for in episode 9 is a lesbian sex scene between Rey and Kylo. <laughs> you know, it's terrible. Kylo is the most masculine character in all of the the Star Wars that are new. Like, he's the only, like, hope of masculinity. And he's, like, still a little emo rager. Oh, boy. How to capitalize on the upcoming reception. Hot Dude Army to reign supreme. Buy Bitcoin. How to capitalize, capitalize on next recession. Here's my crazy thought for the day. I don't think another recession's coming. I think that the recessions are controlled by the central banks. I believe that they're formulated and controlled, and I believe that they are losing power. And if they were going to plunge people into poverty, it's not going to be a good thing, man. Last thing you want is angry people in the streets with guns. Starting to sound like Peter Schiff here, yeah. Matt Helm is an American 007. Interesting. I'll check him out. One girl I was dating, I just showed up at my gym telling me how I lost all, how she lost weight. Well done. It's good on you. Showed zero interest whatsoever. <laughs> she was clearly looking for validation. Well played, my friend. Jesus Christ. There's too much testosterone in this room. I fucking love it. You guys are savages. Wow. Well, I got a whole list of stuff here. Um, again, August 25th to September 5th. Uh, we'll talk about it. I'll choose a location. I think we could go somewhere. Prana. Like, I got to find a place that can suit all of us but we got to lock it down and need confirmations if you guys are coming we got to lock it down by the by august 1st ideally um and then i can prepare everything for the meetup and we can just kind of link up and um cross notes and just kind of talk with each other and just see what the deal is um in regards to um just moving forward so i'm gonna can it right here thank you guys all for Listening in today, uh, Charlie says down with those corrupt bankers. Be sure to go check out uh, Cultivate Crypto's channel. He's going to be on with me tomorrow as we do the Tokyo Crypto Show. Um, we are going to be talking about more Bitcoin stuff. There's a dip in the Bitcoin price right now. Opportunity to buy. And um, man, oh man, 
great things are coming, guys. Again, Body Language Mastery is coming out end of September and October 1st. So that's uh, September 27th in honor of Little Wayne's birthday. September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, and October 1st. It is 497 No, you cannot have a discount. I fucking fell for the emotional trap this time. Nathaniel Harris, you sack of shit, wherever the fuck you are, you owe me $200. I already deactivated your membership to Body Language Mastery because I was stupid to trust you. You said you're going to pay me half up front, half later, and I believed you like a fool. And uh, here we are. So that's why I'm never doing that again. Sorry, if you want in, you got to pay full price. Um, I emailed you, Nathaniel. Very disappointed that you pulled this shit. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that maybe your email went down or something caused you to not get back to me. But I deactivated all your shit in the meantime. Um, but yeah, man. So it's coming out. September 27th to September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, October 1st. And um, until then, I will see you tomorrow. Guys, the Body Language Mastery Group, I'm going to go talk to Ed right now and then uh, lock him down for the webinar. Get your questions ready. And we will see you tomorrow. Until then, peace out.